Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to talk about straightness according to ISO 1101. We also have examples on GOM Inspect and on PCDMEs. So let's get right to it. Straightness. Straightness is the condition where a surface contour or an axis is a straight line. As we can see here, we have the tolerance and this is the contour of the, uh, of the part. Here also, and the evaluation of the straightness. Okay, so straightness deviation represents the maximum distance from the real profile, like we can see here, the maximum distance from the real profile, right? On the surface uh, and the adjacent line. Uh, this is the adjacent line right here, and this is the real profile. Between the limits of a distance L, so this is the limits here and here and this is the distance L. Let's see some straightness form deviations. We can see here that it, we can have concavity, so the deviation on the surface is concavity, convexity like this uh, or any shape. So this is a form deviation of any shape. Good. Straightness tolerance represent the maximum permitted value of the deviation. No plus or minus in the tolerance frame. Right? So keep this in mind. The tolerance zone for the straightness can be between two parallel lines oriented parallel with a datum. So we can see here that the straightness is from this surface any section of the surface right parallel to this surface let's see the examples so we have at a datum a right at b we have any distance from datum a so any distance from datum a right here okay and at C, we have the intersection plane parallel to datum A, where the straightness is represented, right? So where the line is made, okay? And the T is the tolerance. So this is the plane, the imaginary plane, where the line is projected, right? But it's an imaginary plane. It's kind of a section from datum A, to be parallel with datum A. Okay, so the tolerance zone is the limit between two parallel lines and has a distance of 0.1 only in the specified direction. So remember what we saw here, 0.1 parallel to datum A, right? So we can see here the imaginary plane where the line is defined. Here. So this is the section where the line is defined on the on the surface and we can see here the tolerance Okay, so Next we have between two parallel lines So any Extract line from the surface has to be between two parallel lines that have a distance of 0.1 so Wherever on the surface of the cylinder you take the, the lines, it has to be uh, between two parallel lines that have a distance of 0.1 between them. Good. Or in a cylindrical diameter zone, the median line extracted from the exterior of the cylindrical surface has to be between a cylindrical zone of uh, with the diameter of 0.1. 0.06 millimeters so this is the tolerance zone it's a cylindrical tolerance zone and it represents the median axis of the cylinder 
In order to have meaning, the straightness tolerance has to be smaller than the dimension tolerance applied to the feature. So keep this in mind also. Good, I made some examples on PCDMEs and on GOM, so let's go and see them. So we have here the drawing of the XYZ model and as we see we have on datum A, on the surface from datum A, we have a straightness, uh, a requi it requires a straightness of 0.01. Okay, so in order to evaluate the straightness on PCDMEs, I've imported the CAD model of the XYZ architect model that I created and uh, I've constructed the datums, I constructed the first alignment, the manual alignment, then constructed the datums uh, and now we can evaluate, we can uh, make the straightness but first we have to create a line so now let's make a line, go to insert feature auto line and click on the surface where you want to make the line okay so let's see okay good notice that it's projected on the edge we don't want it projected on the edge we have to say the length of the line the drawing doesn't specify nothing about the length so I'm going to make the length of the line of 50 millimeters I'm going to say that it's not on the edge so the y-axis is not zero then it should be I don't know 10 millimeters from the edge yes that's good and it doesn't have the depth okay let's put it to start from here Uh, I think we should also no okay so it's 100 no it's too much 80 yeah that's good okay 80 should start from x 80 millimeters then have a length of 70 okay so this is good Okay, so number of hits, let's say that we want to take 10 points, we create the line, okay, and in order to evaluate it, we have to go to insert, dimension, and you can go to straightness right here. Okay. So if you use exact measure, you will use it as ASME or you can use it as ISO 1101, but you can also customize it. So I will use it in ISO 1101. Okay, I will use the second line. and I will use the torrents of 0 0.01 OK and create it good now we have the straightness right here OK so let's see the example on the GOM inspect we have here the, the part from GOM this is the single part that we have a mesh on, so uh, we will work on it. First, what you want to do is go and make a section from construct section, single, single section. And you have to specify exactly where you want to make the section. I put my section right here because I don't want nothing to intervene uh, for my line. So. I will select the entire patch or I will select 
the surface you can select the surface or you can select the entire patch wherever do you want so I will select uh, the surface right here okay okay so this is where I want my line to be that's good and now I have to close this okay and after we have the section we have to go to construct line and fitting line select the section with control and click OK good now that we have our actual line we can go to inspection we can go to check GDNT straightness and put the tolerance of 0.01 on the straightness and click OK and we can see that it has a deviation of 0.1 so that's above the highest limit of the tolerance so it's a deviated surface well this is all for today don't forget to check out my blog i post there weekly and if you like my content then don't forget to like share and subscribe until next time have a nice one